Hi everyone, I'm Natasha Apolloni from In The Loop and welcome to our very first live broadcast of a series of broadcasts thanks to Destination Wollongong as we count down the days to welcoming Wollongong's first ever cruise liner to the Illawarra docking in Port Kembla and it's such a fabulous event for the whole entire region so I'm here joined by the Lord Mayor of Wollongong Gordon Bradbury thanks for joining us today no problems Natasha good to see you good to see you as well On and this it's bright sunny day it isn't it is, beautiful isn't in it? the bomb today it is glorious and hopefully it's this sort of weather that's going to welcome about 2,400 passengers from the radiance of the sea. It's fantastic news. What does this mean for the city? Well, it means a lot in terms that it's recognised as a destination now in as much that this will be a place where people can come and enjoy the beautiful amenity not only of Wollongong but the Illawarra. This is a city, as we say, the city between the mountains and the sea. So we've got everything from the beaches, the beautiful seascape, right through to the backdrop of the green landscape and the opportunities to visit rainforest, uh, all sorts of activities, beautiful part of the world, but also a very welcoming group of people who are enthusiastic about saying to the world, here we are, come and join us. Uh, it's the first cruise liner we've ever received and uh, we haven't really been tipped as, I guess, a touristy destination. This is a turning point for Wollongong, isn't it? Well, Wollongong is one of those treasures. It's always been hidden away simply because Sydney to the north has been the most popular destination. But suddenly, Wollongong's been discovered as an alternative in as much that we have a lot of the same features. We're not all that far away from Sydney. But let me highlight the fact that we're in the part of the south coast, south of Sydney, that has some wonderful features, wonderful food, wonderful opportunities, and this is a destination in itself. And so often, everyone wants to focus upon Sydney, but at the same time, Wollongong is a chance for people, for people to come by, experience our hospitality, the enthusiasm of the people. We've got 400 ambassadors That's already fantastic. lined up. Yeah. yeah, absolutely fantastic. So tell us about that ambassador program and how you've managed to get so many people on board. Well, look, it was basically a call by Destination Wollongong and a few other organisations to put it out there to the community saying, on the 30th of October, we've got all these people arriving, 2,400 tourists uh, coming off the ship, as well as 800 crew, we want to make them feel welcome. So we put out the call and about 400 put up their hand. And so there is an enthusiasm there in a formal way, but let me say that the city will welcome people. Uh, they're just those sorts of people in Wollongong. And it's a multicultural destination, so people know about travel, they know about coming from different parts of the world. They know what it is to, uh, to arrive in an interesting new destination and wanting to make people feel welcome. And it's not just an event to welcome these guests to our shores. It's really bringing the community together, isn't it? Where you're really putting a call out for everyone to get involved? Exactly. And not only that, the businesses to provide the opportunities to showcase what we can do. The food, the opportunities, the, the restaurants and all that sort of thing, that's all part of the mix. But just the beautiful amenity and there are plenty of day tours and we're set up to take people uh, to the various destinations around Wollongong as well. So there are these little moments, uh, the cameo, uh, cameos of uh, Wollongong that we can also offer you as part of that mix. Everything from the aircraft museum to the, to the wonderful lookouts that we have, to the beaches, to the various vantage points to view the landscape. So up to the mountain or down to the sea or the, the rainforest or just having a stroll along our magnificent Blue Mile. And um, I suppose for those that don't have businesses that want to be showcased and just want to have a catch a glimpse and be a part of all the festivities, there's plenty of advantage points, isn't there? And we're standing on one of them exactly. right here, aren't we? Yes, yes. And this is one of the viewing platforms for what we know as our city beach. But just to the north is our beautiful Flagstaff Point or hill. And so uh, it is the opportunity where people can come and view the arrival of the ship, which I understand will be here off the... Uh, the point around about 6 a.m. and then we'll be berthing around about 7:30 a.m. and then it'll all happen from 8 a.m. onward to 5 p.m. that day. That is Sunday, the 30th of October, and uh, the, uh, the it'll all engage. That is the city with the visitors and making everyone feel welcome. 
So this is the spot to get a photo. Oh, indeed. And uh, watch out, the good-looking Lord Mayor might be around as well. So <laughs> you, you heard it here and... first. Yes, that's right. And you'll recognise me by the hat. Oh, of course, all the time with your hat. Yes, indeed. It's a trademark, isn't it? Indeed, that's right, it is. It's you can come here and get a selfie with the Mayor. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and um, we've got a pretty special thing happening um, to get everybody on board because obviously you mentioned we've got lots of gems, but people, you know, that live here have the local knowledge that can showcase where those special spots are for the guests to visit so we've got the hashtag cruise Wollongong to identify those spots mm. so um, if you had a spot that you'd take a photo and put it up on mm. social media mm. to get them uh, to come along to what would be your favorite location here in Wollongong? My favorite location is actually up on the mountain Mount Kira as part of our great Aboriginal mythology that is the location for women's dreaming and up there, it's uh, associated with that is also the rainforest. And we still have remnants of rainforest, which goes back thousands of years. And uh, very ancient forests, but there is a location there in that rainforest where it's just so serene. So you can experience that as well, uh, but also enjoy the view from Mount Kira. So for me, that's the place and it's a very serene, peaceful location where you can get back in contact with nature and also look down on the beautiful city as well. Oh, excellent, sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, well, you're most welcome to come and join yeah, me. Yeah, why not? Um, and uh, we've got some celebrations in store as well. So here at Lang Park, just behind us, uh, what's happening there and can people get involved? Yes, well, the idea is that there'll be local produce, my, uh, arts, crafts, also uh, just opportunity for information as to where you can go if you want to, if you haven't already booked for a certain tour or activity. Uh, but it's the springboard, It's the, this is ground zero. Here, right where I'm standing now, this will be the location where the city and the and the visitors will meet, and then they'll give, be given opportunities to head on out or just stroll around or enjoy the uh, the markets that'll be here as well. So it's a bit of a banquet, a bit of taste of what Wollongong has to offer. Is Indeed, that yes, and also to meet up with the uh, 400 ambassadors that are prepared to sort of give that very personal touch. Oh, fantastic. Um, and, and just for you guys at home, we have a hashtag Cruise Wollongong. So if you've got a special location that you like and want to share and want to help get those passengers into those special spots that we know are fantastic but maybe the world doesn't know yet, hashtag Cruise Wollongong. And uh, you can also win a prize if you your picture is picked. So every Thursday in the lead up, so we've got three weeks until the cruise ship docks here, um, every Thursday, the best photo will be picked and you will win a prize. So the first prize is a $100 voucher down at the pavilion at North Beach. And it's a glorious spot, almost as beautiful as where we are today. Yes, well, the pavilion is a, a 1930s type of uh, beach bathers pavilion but it's also got a restaurant there and you look out, of, out over our beautiful North Beach and the view, the vista right up the coastline to the north is quite spectacular as oh, well. Oh, it's fantastic. I know I like mm. to sit there for a bit of a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And there's some good coffee in Wollongong, I can assure you. Yes, yes. most definitely. So um, aside from that prize, every Thursday in the lead up to the 30th of September when the cruise ship docks, we will have prizes given out to those with the best pictures. Uh, one of the other prizes is a family pass to Jamboree Recreation Park and also a night at the newly re renovated Novotel. It's looking fantastic, isn't it? New lease of life down there. Yes, it's one of our leading hotels in the city and the offering there is uh, quite spectacular. But it's the location of the hotel and so you don't want to be in bed. You want to be out and about. You want to be over in that beach in, in your swimmers and enjoying the beautiful surf or the opportunities to have a coffee right on the waterfront. And that's what the pavilion and diggies and those little restaurants along there are all about, providing that opportunity to sip your latte <laughs> and enjoy the beer. You're beauty. a latte man. Oh, well, anything that gives me a, a bit of a boost, especially that caffeine content. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I've had two already today. Yeah. And uh, I believe you've had a go down at Jam Recreation Park, haven't you? Oh, many years ago. I've got, I've got history. I've I know. Got history, I've yes. got it on tape. Oh, have you really? Oh, uh, uh, what the horror on my face as I came <laughs> screaming down the, the trail. Uh, look, no, it's one of our great assets in as much that uh, Jamboree Recreation Park has, is one of those uh, parks that has evolved over the years with more and more rides and features that really makes it a destination in itself. So uh, it's one of those opportunities that uh, for the visitors, if they 
they just happen to want to come back to Wollongong and they might have missed out on that particular Sunday, there are plenty of other opportunities to come back and enjoy what we have to, uh, what we have to offer in the Illawarra. And what would be your favourite ride at Jamboree? Oh, I like the, the sled, the uh, the, the bobsled. Uh, the bobsled. Yes, yeah, classic, uh, yeah, classic choice. Yeah, that's right. It's 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 been there a long time, but it still gives me a buzz. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm more of the rock girl. Oh, are you? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It took me uh, 27 years to jump off it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm uh, getting a bit a bit old and, and long in the tooth, as they say in Australian terms. Uh, I just prefer seated and then plummeting to my. Uh, thrill. I'll have to try that one next. So that's all we have for you today on your first live broadcast. Thanks to Destination Wollongong. Don't forget that hashtag Cruise Wollongong. Showcase your favourite spots across Wollongong and the Illawarra and let's put this city on the map and give them the welcome that they deserve to those 200, 2,000 I should say, 400 passengers. Uh, we will have many more live broadcasts for you in the lead up to the 30th of September. Get down here. Thanks for joining us.